What's up today, my wonderful people? Thank you all for checking out another video. I'm recording this video on the camera phone, right? I honestly didn't have enough time to use my other camera. It's like 4, 4.15 a.m., okay? And your video should be up at about 5 o'clock a.m. I got a lot of stuff that I'm working on. I honestly didn't have the time to take out the camera, you know, and do what I usually do. But listen, what I want to talk to you about today is you have to trust in God for him to work out what only he can work out. Listen, there are some things in your life that, guess what? You just can't work them out no matter how bad that the situation is, no matter how much you stress about it, uh, no, no matter how much money you spend on it, no matter how much sleep that you lose, no matter what the situation is, there are some things, right? There are some things that only God can work out. All right. Listen, the Bible says that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, then will I hear from heaven, right, and heal their land. So what does that mean? That means you have to be humble. See, as long as you're walking around like Superman thinking that you can do everything, right? You, you, in other words, you give no entryway for God to come in and help you out. In other words, you, in other words you're not asking God, can he come in and seal the deal? You're basically saying, you know what, God, I'm going to come to you if I need you, but for right now, I got this. And listen, that's not what God wants. You see, a lot of people, they'll think and they'll say, well, you know what? I'll give God the big problems and I'll take care of the little problems. No, that's not what God wants you to do. God wants all your problems. Listen, the Bible says that God is a jealous God, right? And you shall have no gods before him. So what does that mean? What is your counterfeit God, right? I mean, what is your counterfeit God? What are you looking at? What are you thinking too highly of yourself about? In other words, what are you too caught up in that you put God on the back seat? And let's be real here for a second. We all have things in our life that, that we can straighten out, right? We're always growing. So listen, I challenge you today to look at your life. Think about what it is that you're putting before God, right? And understand, look, that stuff needs to take a backseat. All right? A lot of us, we put in TV shows before the Lord. You know, we watch four hours of TV every day. You know, we watch Netflix every night. You know what I mean? Four hours of Netflix every single day. That's cool. I'm not telling you don't watch Netflix, but I'm just saying don't make that your top priority. Don't make that the only thing that you're waking up yearning to do. Like, oh, I just want to watch that show. Oh, I just, uh, that's cool. Like I say, watch your show, enjoy your popcorn, drink you some root beer, eat you some ice cream, whatever you want to do. That's cool. Enjoy yourself. But, but. Make sure that you are living for God. Make sure that, that that is number one. That is your preeminence. Okay? I love you. Thank you for checking out another video. Listen, I just want to help you get your priorities in order for the day. I know a lot of entertainment is in this world. A lot of things is fast-paced in this world. And sometimes things, they can knock you off track. Okay? But listen, you hearing this video and hearing the word of God, guess what? It can get you back on track. And that may be all that you need, right, to get back doing what God wants you to do in your life, which is focusing on him. Because listen, it is he that directs your paths. I know you may think you got everything figured out, you know, and you probably smart. I know you smart, but that's not enough. You just listen, the Bible tells us to lean not on our own understanding. What does that mean? I mean, everything we learn in the world, that's cool. You're going to use that. You're going to be able to apply it. But guess what? God told you to lean not on your own understanding. Whenever it comes to the Lord, we trust in him. Because he's supernatural. He's better than our little brains. All right? Humble yourself. Trust in him today. If this video helped you out, hit the share button. Why did I just put my finger up? Oh, oh, I know what I'm about to do. Don't forget to subscribe. That's what I'm about to do. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. I love you.